it's it's a wonderful crowd today. I don't have a full voice, so I apologize if everybody can come like 20 steps closer. I don't bite, I promise. And we moved a little bit closer because we're next to an active work site, which is a good problem to have. Uh, well, what, what a joy it is to be uh, with you all here today. My name is Jonathan Jank. I serve as the president and CEO for the Seward County Chamber and Development Partnership. Uh, and we're so excited to celebrate with the community of Milford, uh, with, with the business community across Seward County, with the Bontrager family and all of you. Uh, what, what, a, what a joy it is to see such a crowd. Milford comes out and supports its own. Uh, and that's really a, a, a joy to see. Um, on behalf of our staff, board of directors, and over 280 public and private sector members, we're thrilled to be celebrating the next economic development project in Seward County, Nebraska. We just had a groundbreaking this past Friday, a totally different project, and I say the same thing every time. Economic development is a team game. Um, and you can see sort of the team. You can see the community coming around side Main Street Market and, and why that's important. That's what leads to things like today. So it really takes that, that collaborative spirit for people to come together to make groundbreakings happen. So I learned early in my economic development career that made the, a major indicator of rural community success is tied to whether they can support a local grocery store. And uh, what I mean by that is that uh, you think about what it takes to attract and sustainably support a local grocery store. There's many reasons why that's important. Um, and providing access to quality, affordable food, is, which is significantly impacts a, a community's ability to attract and retain residents uh, within the community. There really are real life consequences when you have a food desert, when you have a, a place where people can't get good quality food. And of course that, it has a full range of, of impacts, right? People uh, have less healthy options, less healthy eating, less healthy people. That's why something like Main Street Market truly, truly matters. And so I, I really just want to highlight Main Street Market and their willingness to grow and expand in Milford and why that's so important. So first and foremost, I want to thank the Bontrager family. If we can give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks specifically to them for their willingness to invest in Milford. Uh, that's a huge deal. We never take projects like this for granted um, because they're putting themselves out there. And what I can say is it's all of our responsibility collectively to help them make this a success. And so that's my challenge for us all today that we continue to support them into the future because of this tremendous investment that they're making in our community. And I want to say that uh, not only do they serve as a full service market, but also as a community hub. Uh, if you did not know, Main Street Market offers fresh local produce, full service deli homemade sandwiches and food, toys, bulk foods, outdoor furniture, UPS, U-Haul, and items from about a dozen local vendors. And then of course, it, it can't just be the owner of the business, it can't just be uh, you know, the, the investor that's making this happen. There's so many others that are involved in this project. And I can't name them all, I know Craig's gonna highlight a, a few uh, that are important to note. I do wanna give a shout out to and thanks to the city of Milford, uh, including our leaders, Mayor uh, Patrick Kelly, we have multiple representatives from the Milford City Council. If you're here, you just want to raise your hand and be recognized. Uh, we have Milford Planning Commission members, Milford Planning Commission members, the Milford, Milford Citizen Advisory Review Committee, uh, Milford City Clerk Jeannie Hoggins, I see Jeannie here, Milford City Building Inspector Tim DeWarick, and other city staff uh, for their work to encourage shovels being put in the ground today. Um, before I turn it over, I'd like to give just a really quick personal note. Um, if you did not know, Craig Bontrager is a man of many talents. Uh, not only does he lead his family-owned grocery store, but Craig also has a very active lifestyle, including being the drummer of, uh, of a favorite local band. He serves as one of the Milford High School track coaches. And if you were not aware, Craig is a tremendously gifted racquetball player. Did anybody know that? 
I have the honor of having him as my racquetball professor at Concordia University. And I want to personally thank him for teaching me the beautiful and intense game of racquetball. So with that, I want to turn this uh, part of the groundbreaking ceremony over to Professor Greg Bontrager. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, this really means a lot. And I can't, I'm not great well, I'm terrible at dad jokes too, but this means a lot to have you here. While growing up on our family farm south of Milford, my family learned the value of hard work and good family ties. We came into town regularly to go to the Milford supermarket, which was owned by my cousins, Morris Jancy and his family. We also went to Schlegel's Grocery, which was owned by good friends of my parents and my grandparents, the Schlegel family. My wife, Karen, is originally from Pennsylvania, but was a Stutzman and has many ancestors from the Shickley area. She grew up working in a deli that was located in a large market in her hometown of Kutztown, Pennsylvania. Soon after we were married, we thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a Pennsylvania-style Mennonite-themed store in Milford? As time went by, we got into our careers, raising our family. This thought never left us though, as we made annual trips back to Pennsylvania to visit my in-laws, her family. And uh, we looked at the many Mennonite markets that are in the area out there. In 2015, Neil and Lucinda Burkholder had a vision to start a Mennonite themed bulk food store in, in Milford. Um, they started and built the business over six years. During that time, Aunt Shar, who's around here somewhere, convinced my youngest daughter, Celia, that she should work there. Celia enjoyed it so much that she thought she should make that her career, being in hospitality and, and um, food service. When Neil and Lucinda decided to sell in 2021, Karen and I, decided this was our opportunity to write the next chapter of our lives. Celia was established in the store, but I knew about as much about the grocery business as I do about landing on the moon. I spent two short weeks with Neil and Lucinda learning about the market and building relationships. We have great local support and many people have come from all around to shop here. They also go to the Dragonfly and the Patricia Pizza Kitchen. And we all want to work together to support each other and support our town. You may have the opportunity to meet many of the local contractors that are working on this. Um, Brian Stelling will be finishing out the building inside when the time comes. I want to recognize Farmers and Merchants Bank for helping us build. Adam Roth helped tear the building down initially. We still work for us. Any other vendors here that can help? I was raised in Milford. We raised our family here. The opportunity to serve our hometown community is wonderful. But we don't take lightly the responsibility to help represent our local character and culture to others. Our employees and customers are wonderful. They're hardworking and caring. There's several of them at the store right now serving sandwiches and doing what we do. They are what make our store unique and an enjoyable place to be. You and the community are the reason that our store is successful. The connections and relationships we and our employees have built with the customers is what makes our store successful. Milford High School has a motto. Everyone has a story. Make yours worth telling. As we build and move and expand the Main Street Market, we are making and telling our story in a 
best part is you get to share all of your stories. Being able to do this, how about now? Part you missed, I can repeat later. It's all right. Um, yeah. We, we look. Don't worry, I won't start over. Um, I will say the last couple things here, though. Milford nope. High School has a motto. The battery did. No. Yes. Okay. Right. I tried. Yeah, right. I tried. I just want you to know being able to serve the community with our family is a huge honor for us. And we look forward to offering more things here at the store without losing the character of the store. We want to keep that small town atmosphere. Um, I'll just finish with, you all know this motto, there is no place like Nebraska, there certainly is no place like Milford, and there really is no place like the Main City Market. I encourage all of you to love well, praise God every day, work hard, play fair, and shop local. Um, Thank you for coming. Mayor, do you want to say anything? Yeah. Well, let's give another round of applause for the Von Trigger family real quick. I would say probably five, six years ago, uh, we started working on a few different things from a development standpoint to really help grow our community in a way that was um, well for Milford and when we did that we started working with not only Timber Creek uh, for some housing options but we worked with uh, Dollar General to come in and really take the place of the grocery store. We kind of recognized that the grocery store had kind of fizzled out and people were shopping elsewhere and not really shopping local for a lot of options. And that really concerned me and a few others, kind of losing that local option. Um, but we worked with Neil and Lucinda uh, to kind of expand the Main Street Market at that time. So expanding the, the dairy option, when we brought in, uh, we, we kind of merged Dollar General in the Main Street Market, we brought in and we're with Neil and Lucinda on that aspect. And from that time till today is really, to me, amazing to see what the Bond Trigger family has done in terms of taking what Neil and Lucinda started and growing it to what we're seeing today. Uh, that to me is very encouraging. I see that we have a lot of growth, a lot of progress in our community right now. We have a park renovation. We have a, a grocery store that really could turn into something as big as Casey's General Store. I'm looking at this thinking that one of these needs to be in every small town, not only in Nebraska, but in America. Uh, so I, I, I don't want to put the, heart, the cart before the horse for the Bond Trigger family. Let's get this one opened up. Let's support it. Uh, like Craig said, shop local. Um, but this is an amazing project that I'm so excited to see come up off the ground and, and be open to the community of Milford and the surrounding areas. And, and I look forward to everything that it has in store for it. So uh, thank you for those final words, Craig. I appreciate it. Congratulations to the Bond Trigger family. And I think we're so excited to have this in our community.
Thank you. All right, well, thanks for everyone putting on your listening ears there. I know that was a little bit of a challenge, but um, so uh, the Quantrager family has very generously uh, put some little uh, goodie bags together and water, of course, make sure everybody's hydrated on a hot day. Uh, but we're going to uh, jump over to the actual groundbreaking. That's why we're all here. Um, and Craig, you have kind of a list of people. I think you talked to everyone. We're going to initially do, uh, uh, if Craig's talked to you, kind of an initial groundbreaking with 12 people. And then we'll have other community members come around. Uh, we have reps from Milford Chamber. We have some of our ambassadors and kind of the red coats. We'll have kind of a second picture after that, uh, other community leaders. So if you're one of those 12, let's go over to the shovels so we can actually break some ground on the site. And then we'll do that second picture with other community members after that. So come on over.